Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we're using the great Divi Supreme modules today and we're going to create these floating images. And that's a real eye-catching thing to have on your site when you click on them they can pop up into a light box or you can link them to anywhere you want. Really easy to do so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the visual builder so we can edit on the front end. Okay, once loaded, let's go down. I'm going to delete this module. Okay, I've got a section here, the blue tab, with a row, the green tab that's got two columns in it. I'm simply going to click on the dark button to add a new module. Divi comes as standard with all the light grey modules here, and plenty of them to build just about any site. When you add Divi Supreme Pro, you get these sort of purpley blue ones, and there's about 50 of them. They keep adding more and more as well as some fantastic extensions that we've demonstrated in some other videos. Today I'm looking for the floating images. So if we roll down, there we are, there's the Supreme Floating Multi Images. Just click on that. And you will need the Supreme Pro install to use this today. And you can find the link below the video for both the free version and the pro version. OK, let's add a new item. I'm going to add an image. OK, and as you can see, it pops it in. You can just leave it to one if you want to. And right away, it's going to float up and down. If we move on down, you can add a link right here. Or if you prefer, you can open it in a light box so people get a bigger view of the image when they click on it. I'm not going to put a background in. Let's go over to our design. First one is sizing here, and this is the one that you're really going to want to work with with this module. You can align it horizontally, left, right, wherever you want. I'm going to leave that on zero. And common to most Divi modules, if you do something you don't like it, go in there, delete it, it'll go back to the default for you. You can vertically align it up or down. And as you can see, it will actually spill out of the row itself if you want it to. But you can just put it exactly where you want it. Use the slider, type in a value, or you can use the little arrows here to go up and down. You can give it a fixed width by sliding this slider, make it smaller, bigger. I'm going to take these down to about 40%. And again, you can slide, type in a value. If it puts in picks for you that's too small, just delete the picks and put in percentage. And it'll fill up a certain percentage of the space available. And of course, the space available is the actual column width here. If you want to, you can set a max width. Alignment wise, I'm going to have this one on the left, which is fine. You can give it a minimum height if you want to, a regular height and a max height, just like any other module. I'm not going to add any spacing, borders or box shadows. I'm just going to save this just as it is. And let's add another item. Now it's placed it right over the top of the other one there. Again, you do your link or your light box or whatever you like to do with it. Back over to design and spacing and let's pop this one in the middle and we'll horizontally align him over here somewhere and let's make him 40% also width wise there we go now I'll leave that one right where it is at the moment and let's add a third one. And again, I'm going to have him open in a light box. Let's go to our design. Sizing. 
This time I'm going to have it aligned on the right and we will float it over to the right hand side. There we go, horizontal align, let's pop them across. When you see it start to shrink out like that, it usually means it's just hitting the side of the column itself. Now width wise again, I'm going to make that same size, 40% of the available width. There we go. And for vertical alignment, let's take this one up slightly. Or we could take it down. Don't want it to cover anything down there. That's fine. Let's leave it just like that. Great. So those are all sort of floating up and down in their own little space there. When we click on them, they're going to pop out into light boxes. Now what you can do if you want to, perhaps if you wanted the middle one there to be on top, you could adjust the Z index. So let's go into the middle one there. And if you want to float any of these to the front, go over to Advanced. To position and you'll find Z index. What Z index is is how forward or backwards an element is. So if I pull this Z index up you'll see that middle one come to the front like that. And the way the Z index works if one has a Z index of 48 and the one behind it has a lower number from 47 down obviously the one with the higher number 48 will always appear on top. So you can position them that way if you need to. Okay, and that's pretty much it. It's very simple, but it's very effective. So let's save our changes. Save the module changes. Go down, save a page changes, save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the visual builder. And there we go, there's our floating multi-images. And as I say, that's pretty eye-catching. That's going to get people's attention, which is what you want. When we hover over one, you can see it changes to a little hand pointer. Click on it, and it'll pop up into a light box. Of course, you have the option there to also change it into a link to take people to places if you prefer doing that. Not only can you X out a light box up here, just click anywhere off of it and it will close up for you. So there you go guys, there's a floating multi-image module from the fantastic Divi Supreme plugin. It really is a great addition to the Divi theme. So I hope you enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.